Hello everybody out there in YouTube land. It's been a while since we've had um, a Linux video on the channel. Oh, it's been knocking on a couple of years now, I think, since we uh, since we did the last one. Um, you can take that as a sign of contentment. Still on OpenSUSE, still had no urge or desire to move to anything else. Everything working tickety-boo, and no problem with any updates, and no desire to change to anything else. So what brings me here today? Well, something to show you. So I've um, recently upgraded uh, the desk situation at home with home working, etc. And I took the chance to upgrade the PC and I thought I'd um, invest in a new keyboard, new mouse, new mousepad, etc. And some of this stuff has uh, RGB. Now, as some of you may know that uh, some RGB peripherals in Linux don't exactly gel and it's a rather hit and miss affair as to whether or not you can get these things to work. But then I discovered a little application called OpenRGB. And OpenRGB uh, allows you basically to access the, the firmware of your devices and set the color profiles on many popular peripherals. So most of the Logitech, most of the Razer, uh, for example, uh, you've got Hypex, you've got Gigabyte, you've got Corsair, ASRock. A lot of the items are listed and you can attempt to control the color. Now I say attempt because it's a little bit hit and miss. This isn't the most stable of programs I've found. It's a little bit buggy as you will see when we get to use it in a moment. But for the most part you can get it to work. So without any further ado, let's uh, jump in and have a look. So we'll close the intro page there. And we'll um, first of all, I'll bring up um, a camera shot of the keyboard there on the right hand side. So what you can see there is just the camera pointing down at the keyboard. And I've deliberately switched off all of the RGB lighting on that, apart from the escape key in the corner, just as a point of reference there in the top left corner. Um, so we're going to launch open RGB. Uh, it should be most repos, but it tends to put it in your settings menu I found. So here we are, settings, open RGB. And when you launch it, this is what you'll see. Now you can scan your devices here. And when you do it, it'll bring up a list along the side here of what it finds. Now in my case, it's found Logitech G502 mouse. And it's found, if we scroll down here, it's also found um, a Logitech 512 RGB keyboard. It's actually a 513, but that's close enough uh, for our purposes here. Um, what I like to do is go on to the toggle LED view down here. And when you do that, let's just make this a bit bigger. What you get is basically a map of your keyboard at the top and you can individually click on the sectors or the individual letters and characters and then go down and change the color. So we're gonna to attempt to do that and get this keyboard lit up just the way that I prefer. So we'll do that now. I'll show you just as a for instance, if say we wanted to change the F1 key. So you select the F1 key there, go down to whatever color you want. So let's say we wanted it to be red. You click apply color and lo and behold, there you see the F1 key has magically turned red on the keyboard. So that's the rather laborious way to do it. There's an easier way to do it though, in which case you can use the mouse just to drag across sections. So I like the numpad over here on the right, for example, to be red. So I'm going to uh, do it from the top, it should be easier. I'm going to highlight there everything in that block. Come in here and select the color I want and then apply colors. And then you'll see the whole of that section of the keyboard has now turned red. Uh, my letters and main characters, I prefer to be green. So I'll select green. I'll come along here and I'll just drag and select everything across to here, apply color, Oops. select green, apply color, and there we go. The whole of that section is now turned green. Looks a bit, looks a bit light on the video, but trust me, that is green in reality. Um, for our numbers, what do we fancy there? Should we fancy some blue? So we go along from one to zero, we select blue, apply color, and we have blue for our colors. Um, top characters, the F characters, um, I usually have those as white, so we can go along and we can select 
all the way to F12. You can use your color grid here as well. So if you select white in the corner there and then click apply, that will turn white on the keyboard. This section here, so our arrows and above we'll have those white as well. So we'll come down there and again we'll need to select on our grid and then apply colors. And that section is now lit as well. Okay, three keys here. Those ought to be green along with the main body of the keyboard. So we select them, we'll select green and we'll select apply and those turn green as well. Uh, this little one on its own up the end here, we've missed that when we were doing our um, drag and drop. So we'll change that also to green. And that's pretty much all of the keys on the keyboard now color assigned. Now I have the um, the menu key here attached to the KDE menu. So if I click that on my keyboard, we get the full screen menu appear. So I like to have that red. So that stands out. And also our Windows key or our mod key, as we call it in Linux down here, the same thing. Apply color so we can have that in red. OK. Now what I've found is that when you turn off and you stop running the program, it depends on the hardware, but certainly in the case of the Logitech keyboard, it does seem to retain the settings. So you switch it back on and it will come back up with this color selection enabled. But you can, of course, save this. I've got some test ones saved down here. So if you, for example, go down here, you can load up any of these profiles. And there's a save profile button here if you want to save it. It's not the most stable of software, but you can get it to work. If you look along the side here, what you'll notice is it's detecting multiple instances of the same hardware. So it's found, for example, six versions of the same keyboard and four versions of the same 502 mouse. It doesn't seem to matter which one you select, it still seems to work. Now the mouse at the moment, if I bring it in camera shot here, is a Logitech 502 and it's got no RGB on it. If I go up here to Logitech Hero, I can turn on the logo and I can turn on the DPI lights. So I'm going to highlight logo. I'm going to select green. I'm going to select apply. And there you see the G logo. is now enabled on the mouse. So there we are. If you're struggling to get your RGB peripherals to work, it's worth a try. It's not the most stable of things, but it seems to do the job. Um, worth a go, I think. So thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.